Introduction Narrator, N. Welcome to today's lecture on the various aspects of percutaneous nephrostomy and ureteral stent placement. These interventional radiology techniques play a crucial role in the management of obstructive uropathy and provide effective solutions for patients with urinary tract obstructions. In this comprehensive lecture, we will discuss the indications, techniques, imaging modalities, complications, advancements, and palliative measures associated with these procedures. So, let's dive into the exciting world of percutaneous nephrostomy and ureteral stent placement. Percutaneous nephrostomy is a minimally invasive procedure to relieve obstructive uropathy by inserting a catheter through the skin and into the renal pelvis. It helps relieve symptoms, prevent renal damage, and allows urine drainage to an external bag, reducing the risk of complications. Ureteral stent placement is a procedure used to clear blocking in the ureter. It involves inserting a tube into the ureter to keep it open and allow urine to flow. The procedure can be done in different ways, depending on the situation. N. The success of percutaneous nephrostomy and ureteral stent placement relies heavily on accurate imaging guidance. Various imaging modalities are used to guide these procedures, including fluoroscopy, ultrasound, and computed tomography CT. Fluoroscopy provides real-time visualization of the needle and catheter during the intervention, allowing precise placement. Ultrasound imaging aids in identifying the renal anatomy and helps guide needle insertion into the renal pelvis. CT imaging offers detailed anatomical information, helps identify the cause of obstruction, and assists in planning the optimal intervention approach. And, like any medical intervention, percutaneous nephrostomy carries potential complications. While it is generally considered a safe procedure, complications can occur. Some of the commonly encountered complications include bleeding at the puncture site, infection, misplacement of the catheter, urinary leakage, and injury to surrounding structures such as vessels or bowel. Proper patient selection, meticulous technique, and post-procedure monitoring are essential in minimizing the risk of complications. N. Over the years, significant advancements have been made in percutaneous nephrostomy and ureteral stent placement techniques. These advancements aim to improve the efficacy, safety, and patient outcomes associated with these procedures. Some of the notable advancements include the development of new materials for stent manufacturing, novel stent designs, and the use of advanced imaging guidance systems such as three-dimensional, 3D, fluoroscopy or augmented reality. These advancements offer exciting prospects for the future of interventional radiology in managing obstructive uropathy. N. The choice between antegrade and retrograde ureteral stent placement depends on the patient's specific condition and the interventional radiologist's expertise. Antigrade stent placement is suitable for cases where retrograde access to the ureter is challenging or impossible due to extensive ureteral obstruction or anatomical anomalies. Retrograde stent placement is more commonly performed and involves accessing the ureter via cystoscopy. This method allows for direct visualization of the ureteral orifice, precise stent placement, and shorter procedure duration. N. Nephrostomy tube removal is an important step in the management of obstructive uropathy. The decision to remove the nephrostomy tube depends on several factors, including the resolution of the underlying cause of obstruction, adequate renal drainage, absence of infection, and patient's overall clinical condition. Removal of the nephrostomy tube typically involves a simple procedure, and careful post-removal monitoring is necessary to ensure proper urinary flow and absence of complications. N. Balloon dilation is a technique used to alleviate ureteral strictures during stent placement. This procedure involves advancing a specialized balloon catheter through the stricture and dilating the narrowed segment to restore adequate ureteral patency. Balloon dilation can be performed in combination with ureteral stent placement, providing a comprehensive solution to both the obstruction and the stricture. Careful evaluation of the stricture characteristics and appropriate balloon selection are crucial in achieving successful dilation outcomes. N. The management of obstructive uropathy in pediatric patients requires special consideration due to anatomical differences and unique challenges. Percutaneous nephrostomy and ureteral stent placement techniques can be performed in pediatric patients with modifications to suit their specific needs. The choice of equipment, imaging techniques, and procedural approaches may differ from those used in adults. The involvement of pediatric interventional radiologists and close collaboration with the pediatric urology team are essential for the successful outcomes in this patient population. N. Urinary diversion is often required in patients with severe urological conditions or after surgical interventions. Interventional radiology plays a crucial role in creating and maintaining urinary diversions. Common techniques involve the placement of nephrostomy tubes, ureteral stents, or percutaneously inserted bladder catheters. These interventions are performed to redirect urine flow, bypassing the original urinary tract. The choice of the appropriate diversion technique depends on the patient's condition, underlying pathology, 
and overall treatment plan. N. Despite the efforts to minimize complications, adverse events can still occur following percutaneous nephrostomy and ureteral stent placement. Radiology plays a vital role in diagnosing and managing these complications effectively. Complications such as stent migration, stent occlusion, urinary leaks, or infection may require additional radiologic procedures, such as stent repositioning, exchange, or removal. Timely identification and appropriate intervention help prevent further morbidity and ensure optimal patient outcomes. N. In certain clinical scenarios, percutaneous nephrostomy and ureteral stent placement can serve as palliative measures to improve the quality of life for patients with irreparable urinary tract obstructions or terminal conditions. These procedures help relieve symptoms such as pain, urinary retention, or recurrent urinary tract infections in patients who are not candidates for definitive treatment. Palliative percutaneous nephrostomy and ureteral stent placement require a careful assessment of individual patient needs and preferences, as well as comprehensive supportive care. In conclusion, percutaneous nephrostomy and ureteral stent placement are important procedures in treating urological blockages. They relieve symptoms, preserve kidney function, and enhance patient outcomes. As healthcare providers, understanding these procedures is crucial for providing optimal care to patients with urinary tract obstructions.